Okay, I just got off the 25. This is where I am, Washington State University, uh, Spokane uh, a branch. Uh, they're out of uh, Cheney, I think, still. That's where it was founded. Um, this is the clinic. They're part of this that I go to. So uh, I know I'm not too far away. Uh, I'm going to hone in on it uh, with my... Uh, uh, experience that I learned while I was selling uh, uh, cable uh, yeah, in Wisconsin for one fucking year straight, man. Uh, that job, I took everything. I honed my craft. Absolutely. Expert at finding an address. Expert. Uh, 65,000 miles on my little car that year. And let me tell you, it didn't have a it didn't have a uh, heater, <laughs> and I got it in. Uh, uh, I'll tell you when I got it. Uh, uh, let's see, that was. Uh, I'd say uh, fifth week I was out. Maybe fourth, fifth week. It had been the first uh, week of the uh, end of the first week of February of ninety uh, ninety five. Yeah. Uh, you can check the weather records for that year and tell you just how motherfucking cold it was. And like I said, the car was absent a heater. I drove it for the entire time I had it without a heater. Uh, okay. This is nice landscaping. Oh, look at that. <laughs> wow, can you see that? Let's have a look at that. Look at this. Uh -huh. Yeah, how nice. Uh, isn't that nice? Wow. I like that. Uh, okay. Let's uh, move on to um, the uh, honing skills. <laughs> that I was reminis reminiscing about. It sounds like I'm fucking talking shit, doesn't it? <laughs> well, I'm not. Uh, I had fun doing it. And I had just read, um, well, let me see. Yeah, I had just read, because the last job I had at that, the end of that 15 and a half fucking years for the robbery, uh, was at the farm, the honor farm. And I was assigned uh, this real cushy job based on my skills on a computer and my artistic, uh, uh, the artistic uh, skills that I have. They, they, they thought I was the shit. And uh, gave me the best job anybody could possibly have at that farm. And it was the best job. I had my own office. Uh, I think I had four printers, four color printers. Uh, I had every piece of software imaginable for uh, desktop publishing. Top of the line, everything. Uh, of course, I became quite adept at uh, Photoshop. That's when I really, really sunk my teeth into Photoshop. Um, and, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> it, it was a lot of fun, man. Uh, I worked with Kathy, Kathy Leonard. She was a, um, a sales lady for uh, Washington State Department of Correction uh, at that arm farm. And, uh, her job was to sell furniture that the uh, uh, correctional industries made. And of course they employ uh, thousands of prisoners in whatever, <laughs> whatever endeavor, uh, commercial endeavor you could possibly think of, uh, that a prison would be allowed to dabble in. Uh, uh, and keep in mind that they had a constriction uh, that prevented them from competing with private sector. They were not allowed to outbid uh, private sector folks because 
I mean, think about it. It's the church, or I'm sorry, the <laughs> the state rather. Um, uh, taking jobs from taxpayers who <laughs> who pay for their their existence. And uh, anyways, uh, they were always walking a damn thin line with that thing. Uh, that uh, language that they had. Uh, I, that, the more I worked with them, the more I learned. And, uh, that was one of the things that uh, I found most interesting about Correctional Industries. Anyhow, that job was, <laughs> was a lot of fun for me. Uh, I had my own radio, of course, a nice stereo system. Um, and uh, honed my dancing abilities <laughs> quite a bit in that office. <laughs> And of course, I could take a break anytime I wanted, and back then you could smoke. Uh, so I took uh, many, 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 many smoking breaks. And uh, I, at that point, I was three years short, so I gave up smoking pot. Um, because, of course, it's illegal back then, for one thing, but we always had plenty of it with uh, whoever we wanted, you know, talk into bringing it in, girlfriends, wives. Uh, <laughs> Blue friends, uh, whoever the fuck it was, staff, nurses, a lot of nurses, they fall in love with these guys. And, uh, uh, let me see. <laughs> and, of course, prison guards, man. <laughs> they were the worst. <laughs> yeah, I, we, <laughs> they used to come up to the house and buy heroin from us, <laughs> the prisoners. Uh, me, my celly. Uh, that was back in the day, uh, a long time ago, and I was sitting, uh, I was sitting only with, the, I think, a nickel in, and uh, I had no foreseeable release date, so I didn't really give a fuck about what I was doing, uh, and drug dealing back then was a good way to make a lot of money, a lot of money, and uh, uh, sometimes it turned out <laughs> we had more <laughs> we had more money than uh, or drugs rather more better access to better quality drugs than the prison guards <laughs> could buy on the street <laughs> yeah uh, so they'd come to us <laughs> yeah prison guards <laughs> would come up the people that are watching us and guarding us from society would actually uh, camp out on our doorstep <laughs> and try to act nice a lot, of course, you know. If, if you think, there's, not, there's no doorsteps, it was all bars back then, it was Monroe, the reformatory. And so, all they had to do was peek through the bars at whoever's next, do, next door to you, and uh, you'd see what was going down, so the cops had to be damn slick about it. And uh, they were too. Uh, I met a lot of pretty cool uh, junkie cops. <laughs> uh, what, what was that one guy's name? Uh, he was a trombone player, jazz uh, cop, a Puerto Rican. Uh, he used to come up and buy heroin. Right on the doorstep, man. We didn't let him shoot it up either. He had to go away, man. That's all it was. Take a shit and go away, man. Uh, it was all about Low profile. Everything had to be low profile, of course. I'm holding in on this place. Uh, I sense it's nearby. I think this is it. So I remember that damn old building right there, that tower. There's got to be a restaurant around here. Oh, uh, wait a minute. What's that bus stop over there? I think that's it. Let me see. I got my homing pigeon. Uh, I think that's it. Let me see. Uh, I hope I don't have to consult my damn <laughs> uh, Google map it's been leading me astray here and there. I think this is it. I walked by this last time. I've only been here once. And I came in from the northwest. This time I came in from the southwest. Uh, so, uh, I'm gonna sign. You can see those. Northwest Hell, 
this is a, a private company I'm building, I guess. Uh, over there, it must be. I don't know where it's sitting. It's got to be behind this. Wait a minute. It, it could be all that old building. Huh? Yeah. Who knows? Anyway, let's get across here. I think I got across. This is Sherman. Sherman and. Uh, uh, come on, man. Get the fucking. I don't like this intersection. Too much traffic. Uh, uh, okay. Careful for Christ's sake. Uh, I would hate to die for the car. God damn it. What a fucked up way to die. Okay. Yeah, there's gotta be a tree around here that's pissed behind. What about that nook right over there? I like that. Can I be come invisible down in that one? Right there, that one. Right there. I think I can hide my dick anyway. Oh, there's a bush. Good. Well, let's hide it there. Let's go there. God damn, I got pissed now, right now. God damn it. Uh, right here. Okay, fuck it now. Hurry, hurry. You got piss your pants now. Oh, fuck. Hurry, man, hurry, god damn it. God, I hope no cops come by, god damn it. I don't care, I'm pissing. Fuck, uh, oh, yeah, thanks. Oh, this is part of the problem, man. And they know it, this hospital knows it. I, they're the ones that documented this shit, man. I got piss like every mile or so. And there's no place to go, man. It's fucking shame, man. It's two hundred fifty dollar ticket, man. Can you imagine that? Fucking town, man. Goddamn, please give me the letter that absolves me of this sort of thing. I don't see any goddamn indecency about it. It's perfectly, uh, uh. I think it's the only decent thing to do, brother. It's to let old man sixty-seven know this. With prostate problems, uh, have his way with the goddamn urine, man. <clears throat> I'm not pissing my pants. Fuck that, man. That's totally undignified. That should be illegal, goddamn it, to force somebody to do that. Well, I've come up with other ways that I've thought of, and I'm gonna approach REI with it. I did once, and I don't think that you really cared, man. <clears throat> He didn't even listen, man. He acted like I was crazy, man. Uh, there's got to be a way, uh, a way to piss in a bladder or a cup, uh, standing up in public somewhere. Uh, you know, turn your back at least. Uh, don't, uh, don't flaunt it or, you know, do shit like that. I mean, Okay, this is far enough, man. Stop here and call these motherfuckers and make sure there's not a an opening, uh, a cancellation. Okay, I gotta shut you off. Uh, hopefully I've been getting this. Let me see, am I filming or not? Damn it. Tell me I'm filming, please. Please tell me I'm filming. I'm not, damn it, 916. I haven't been feeling this goddamn thing. I've been talking shit, man. All along. Nothing. Fuck. Okay, stop. Oh, I have been filming. <laughs> okay, my bad. All right. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> okay, good. All right, let's continue this expedition to find the office. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta put you on hold. I gotta put you on hold. And use the phone. That's one of the drawbacks of this phone. It won't let me call and film. All right, so I want to get a phone that does that. I don't care how much it costs. I'm going to save up for it. All right, I'll talk to you in a bit.